going on everybody welcome to and welcome back to another video i am celebrity and fashion photographer chris cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into a male skin retouching tutorial so right now let's get right into it so my first process when retouching male skin is to analyze or any images to analyze the full image by zooming in a little bit going from top to bottom to see what things can be perfected what blemishes or you know scars or any kind of things that I don't want and I don't deem as flattering to the final result to be in the image to be removed or diminished. So right now I'm going to go and get into the spot heal tool and I'm just going to start going and brushing along those areas where they have those little blem blemishes maybe a small little pimples or heat marks where I don't want to be presentable in the final results. And please, please, I stress to people, don't stress yourself out trying to get every single, you know, imperfection that's on the skin, especially when, you know, retouching male skin. Me personally, I love to kind of leave those um, kind of like skin textures and skin tones and, you know, different variations because, you know, as you know, a male skin has different gradations, variations in color and tone. But you always want to make sure you're getting those areas that are noticeable to you so that it helps perfect the final image and outcome. And if you're wondering, I'm using a Wacom pen tablet. And if I go quiet for a little bit, it's just because I'm kind of repeating the same cycle of just removing those little imperfections. Alrighty, so I'm going to just keep making my way down, going along the beard, tackling little ones that are kind of out of the actual area of the beard that I would just like to, you know, kind of get to clean it up a little bit around those areas. Alrighty, so I'm going to go right back up. I'm going to zoom out and I want to remove a little bit of those head veins right here. So I'm just going to use the patch tool to do that. And I'm just going to start dragging it over to an area that I can sample without losing a difference in skin texture. I'm going to go over to this side and we're going to just do the same thing. Alrighty, so the image is getting to a place where I kind of like the, you know, overview of here's a quick before and after. Let's see, I'll get this little imperfection out as well. So my next step is to go into the Retouching Essentials package, go down to the 
frequency separation, click advance, and render this by playing it at a Gaussian blur of 14. I'm going to then go over here to the advanced frequency separation tab, deselect high frequency separation layer, select the low frequency and go right back over here into the actual uh, brush tools, sorry the mix brush tools. And I'm going to start lightly brushing along these lines in the area of the skin that I would like to perfect. And you can always change the strength of those brush, brush strokes by going up here to your wet loads, mix, and flow, and suiting them to your liking. I find retouching to be <laughs> so relaxing. Right now I'm just kind of in a trance. I love the transformation of an image and putting, you know, your own spin on it. It's pretty fun. If you want to see the behind the scenes aspect of how I achieve this lighting scenario as well, be sure to head to the link below. Follow me on Instagram. And then also I have videos on my TikTok showing how I achieve these results as well in video with, you know, uh, actual video explanation. You get the equipment set up, the lighting, you know, output, the camera settings and so on and so forth. And also feel free in the comments section to leave below and let me know or even contact me on Instagram. Let me know what you guys want me to kind of produce to help you guys find out you know how to expand in your retouching and also lighting what you what you want me to shoot next or kind of go over next what you would like to be educated on all right so I'm gonna just zoom out and I'm gonna show you a before and here's it after all right so now I'm going to go into the portion of dodging and burning right quick. So I'm going to go over to the adjustments, go over in the blacks and bring those black tones down and everything that is dark will show, everything that is light will show and if it's light you dodge it, I mean sorry if it's light you burn it and if it's dark you dodge it. <laughs> That's a little tongue twister. So I just want to go over here and kind of like not diminish so much of this, but just brighten it up a little tiny bit. So we're going to just do a quick little brush stroke over it. Look at that. See how we're just getting in there and we're just removing those little dark areas. You can do micro dodge and burning. That's a whole technique on its own. over here and just brighten this up a little bit not too much but just do a little something all right so I'm going to deselect and then I'm going to go up here and show you a quick before and watch those areas that I dodged and burned and there we go see how it's it's minimum I'm never removing anything but I'm always diminishing the output and that's what starts to create it a beautiful overall image when you get into the point of keeping things realistic and not doing too much that it's you know just 
it doesn't even look like a human anymore, but you're still keeping in those ranges where it's just, it's it's cleaner. And that's what we want overall. So I want to kind of get into the beard area as well. So I'm going to just go over here with a light dodge and start just bringing texture back into that area as well. Look at that. See how we're bringing that back to life? I would like to know who I'm connecting with as well. If you guys have come from TikTok, let me know in the comment sections. If you guys have come from Instagram, let me know as well. Facebook, or if you come from the YouTube pl platform. If you're new here, welcome. I hope this video helps you and you decide to like this video and also become a part of my family, which is the photo fam. Alrighty, so I'm liking what I'm seeing. Show you a little bit. There's a quick before and after. See how we're just bringing that life right back into the image? It looks amazing. All right, so I am going to zoom out. I am then going to just show you a quick before and after. And now that I like this whole consistency within where we are now, I'm going to go right back into the Retouching Essentials pack. I'm going to go into Skin Smoothening. Even though the skin's already good, I'm just wanting to make things a little bit more cohesive. And I'm going to just start lightly brushing over certain areas. Just to blend, I don't wanna, you know, overdo. Start getting under the nose, where the beard is. You can do some areas of the lips, around the eyes, around the top of the head. Just doing a little. A little goes a long way. All righty. So, I'm going to select. I'm going to deselect just to show you what I did so far. See that? Just tiny things make a huge difference. And then I am going to close this out, go below, go into the skin, even skin tool, click and render. going to go right back over here to the mix brush tool and we're just going to start lightly brushing around certain areas remembering to diminish but not remove look at that that's beautiful how we're keeping that skin texture and tone just blending 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 and it's all about taking your time with it it's different uh, methods to get to this as well, but I like to work on productivity and also working in a way that is precise yet not long. Let's see, that's nice. All righty. So I love the overall view, look, and feel of this image, but. I just want to go in and add a little more pop to this. So what I am going to do is, if you don't know, I have a retouching fo uh, pro level pack for Photoshop. It's for LUT, it's LUTs and Actions that you can literally run over. The one that I will be using today is called Luxury Sand. It's available on my website. The link is in the description below in the photo store. I'm going to click it. It's going to run. Now, this right here is a little bit too brown for me, so what I want to do is go into the uh, mid-tones. I'm going to move over the cyans a little bit. I'm going to move over the blues just a tad and see how that's changing. I'll zoom out a little bit for you. See that? The overview. And 
then I'm going to show you a quick little before, a quick little after. Still looks natural. And I think one of the most important parts of an image, especially when retouching as well, is crop factor. So what I want to do is go in. I'm going to just start cropping it a little more, making sure that I keep in a surface area that is cohesive. So as you can see, we're a little off. There we go. And as we keep adjusting, we can just keep on going back to that aspect. Alrighty. Look at that. That's straightforward. That's straight to the point. And this is the final results. I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed this retouching tutorial showing you how I get the results to my retouching um, aspects of you know Photoshop especially when it comes to male skin be sure to head over to my Instagram and also my TikTok both are the Chris Cavanaugh be sure to follow me on those because I post a lot of behind the scenes content showing you how I get the results on set while on set and then also I show you guys how I retouch in quick easy manners and so much other content be back for the next video I hope you join the family the photo fam by clicking that link and subscribing also clicking the thumbs up button, and I will see you right back in the next video.